Hi, I'm Sherry Peck, Principal Second Violin of the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera, and I invite you to join us for Singing in the Rain, Saturday, March 1st, at the Tivoli Theater at 7.30 p.m. Um, generally, when I get music, the first thing I do, um, I read all of it down, and in this case, 64 pages, which I just finished yesterday. And um, as I'm playing through for the first time, I make notations where I need to go back in Woodshed, and there are several places that I need to do that between today and Friday when our first rehearsal is. Uh, it's fun, it's exciting, but also it can be distracting um, because you want to watch what's going on on screen, and I, I have to be really careful to um, rein my attention back to what I'm doing and my part and not to get distracted by the screen. Uh, a click track is basically just like a metronome in your ear. So the conductor will have an earpiece and the click track delivers him the beat that it needs to be. So that keeps us in sync with the movie. So we don't get behind or ahead because um, sometimes you just don't know exactly what you know, 160 for the quarter note is, or you might be a little bit off in that, that, that messes up the sync. Well, for the violins, we have an awful lot of notes and I wish we were paid by the note, but we're not. Um, I guess some of the passages aren't as high as say for the first violins, because I'm a second violin, so I have that in my favor, but there are some, some high things and um, just a lot of notey runs and some fast tempos that um, kind of quick. Yeah, actually I do. I think Moses Supposes is the funniest one for me. I just watch it and crack up every time. Um, when Cosmo comes into the diction lesson and um, they start dancing around, they sit the teacher in the chair and he's just like, and then they dump everything on top of them and then they end with the A. That's my favorite part. That's interesting because I think they'll be watching more than listening, but um, I just think there's a different kind of vibe when it's a live recording versus going to the theater and hear it coming from speakers. Um, so kind of listen for that spark and the energy of the live performance. And remember, it's your orchestra that's playing that. It's not just a canned performance, which I think is really cool. So if you hear something with the horns, you're like, oh, that's Gordon playing that. I like that. We are doing great things in this city to inspire, engage, and enrich the community through music and music education. Please join us for Singing in the Rain.